Okay, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the registry edit after you've done the uh, XP Service Pack 2 hotfix. Of course this only applies to um, XP Service Pack 2 uh, but not to the 64-bit version if you've got that one installed. Um, if you have a look on the article, uh, one thing that most people miss out is um, the actual registry edit which you need to do which is uh, described in the article um, here. Um, uh, and a lot, one thing that a lot of people get confused about is uh, just this part of the registry address. Um, so uh, first of all, I'm going to show you what this actually means. It's described at the bottom, but I'll, I'll show you properly um, through this video. Uh, but to get this, uh, get to get the 1394HCHWID and the instance ID, um, what we need to do is first of all go into the control panel. Um, go to performance and maintenance and then go to system or um, if you're if you're in classic view I'll just go back one um, if you're in classic view then you'll be able to go straight to system uh, which would be down here somewhere um, if you know I'm on service pack 3 don't worry about this I'm just showing you just for the uh, just for an example's sake really, so I'd advise not doing it on Service Pack 3 because it can actually cause problems, um, so yeah, only do it on Service Pack 2. Uh, anyway, next we need to go to the Hardware tab uh, and open up the, de the Device Manager. Uh, through here, um, you need to go and find your Firewire controller, which is the IEEE1394 bus host controllers. Um, expand that category and you'll find your firewire controller. If you right click it and go to properties and then on this dialog box go to details and you'll find the device instance ID here uh, which is this address here. And this is looks quite meaningless right now but we'll, this is what this is exactly what the article is asking for if we go back to it uh, here. So you've got this first thing, so you've got the PCI PCI then the VEN is the this part of the uh, address in the registry and then if you look later on you've got the second part so after the slash is the that bits the 1394 instance ID um, so now all we need to do is actually go into the registry and make the edit so to do that we need to go to start menu uh, and go to run and uh, from here you need to write in reg edit to open up the reg registry click OK once you've done that and then follow the address as it's described in the article I'll just bring that over a bit uh, so first we need to go to the H key local machine uh, and then under system and then go to current control set enter enum and then scroll down and go to PCI and now from here this is where we need to have a look at the device instance ID address. So if we just follow this, so we've got VEN uh, 104C, so if we just have a look, that's this one here, it's the only one there. So we expand that one and then have a look, we've got two here, so if we just have a look on again, we've got this bit, we've got 3 and 189, so that must be this one. We'll just expand that one, and then the next part in the address is just go to device parameters, so we'll go here now. Uh, and then go to the right hand side, this is the uh, open directory of the device parameters so if we just go and right click in there, uh, as you can see I don't, I don't have the SID speed already set up here, if you've already got if you can already see the SID speed key then you don't need to do this step but um, I don't have it so I'm going to need to create one so we'll right click and go to new and go to dword value, so we need a, a new dword value uh, name it SID speed, so I'll just do that here uh, and then double click it to set the D word value. And that's here that we need to set it to 2 or 3. Um, doesn't particularly matter which one you have it on. Uh, 2 just means it supports up to 400 megabits per second. Uh, 3 means you can go up to 800 megabits per second, but as long as you've got the uh, uh, 9 pin Firewire port on your computer. Click OK, and that's, that's it. That's pretty much it. So if you just close everything off uh, and you sh should be ready to go. That'll be your Firewire hotfix completed then. Okay, thanks.